Ypres is a Belgian municipality located in the Flemish province of West Flanders. Though Ypres is the Dutch and only official name, the city's French name Ypres is most commonly used in English due to its role in World War I when only French was in official use in Belgian documents, including on maps. The municipality comprises the city of Ypres and the villages of Buizing, Brelan, Dick Bus, Elverding, Holbeck, Saint Jan, Le Mertinge, Vermezel, Zilbeck, and Zwitschot. Together, they are home to some 34,900 inhabitants. During World War I, Ypres was the center of intense and sustained battles between German and Allied forces. During the war, because the British troops had trouble pronouncing its name, they nicknamed the city Wipers. History, Origins to World War I Ypres is an ancient town, known to have been raided by the Romans in the 1st century BCE. During the Middle Ages, Ypres was a prosperous Flemish city with a population of 40,000 in 1200 CE, renowned for its linen trade with England, which was mentioned in the Canterbury Tales. As the third largest city in the county of Flanders Ypres played an important role in the history of the textile industry. Textiles from Ypres could be found on the markets of Novgorod in Russia in the early 12th century. In 1241 a major fire ruined much of the old city. The powerful city was involved in important treaties and battles, including the Battle of the Golden Spurs, the Battle at Pevlenburg, the Peace of Melon and the Battle of Kassel. The famous cloth hall was built in the 13th century. Also during this time cats, then the symbol of the devil and witchcraft, were thrown off cloth hall, possibly because of the belief that this would get rid of evil demons. Today, this act is commemorated with a triennial cat parade through town. After the destruction of her copyright Renault, Ypres became the seat of the new diocese of Ypres in 1561, and St. Martin's Church was elevated to cathedral. During the Norwich Crusade, led by the English Bishop Henry Le Despenser, Ypres was besieged from May to August 1383, until French relief forces arrived. On March 25, 1678 Ypres was conquered by the forces of Louis XIV of France. It remained French under the Treaty of Nijmegen and Vauban constructed his typical fortifications, that can still be seen today. In 1697, after the Treaty of Rissac, Ypres was returned to the Spanish crown. During the War of the Spanish Succession, the Duke of Marlborough in 1709 intended to capture Ypres, at the time a major French fortress, but changed his mind owing to the long time and effort it had taken him to capture Tournai and apprehension of disease spreading in his army in the poorly drained land around Ypres. In 1713 it was handed over to the Habsburgs, and became part of the Austrian Netherlands. In 1782 the Habsburg Austrian Emperor Joseph II ordered parts of the walls torn down. This destruction, which was only partly repaired, made it easier for the French to capture the city in the 1794 siege of Ypres during the War of the First Coalition. Ypres had long been fortified to keep out invaders. Parts of the early ramparts, dating from 1385, still survive near the Royal Poot. Over time, the earthworks were replaced by sturdier masonry and earth structures and a partial moat. Ypres was further fortified in the 17th and 18th centuries while under the occupation of the Habsburgs and the French. Major works were completed at the end of the 17th century by the French military engineers R. Copyright Bastien Le Preste de Vauban. World War I Ypres occupied a strategic position during World War I because it stood in the path of Germany's planned sweep across the rest of Belgium and into France from the north. The neutrality of Belgium was guaranteed by Britain. Germany's invasion of Belgium brought the British Empire into the war. The German army surrounded the city on three sides, bombarding it throughout much of the war. To counterattack, British, French, and Allied forces made costly advances from the Ypres salient into the German lines on the surrounding hills. In the First Battle of Ypres, the Allies captured the town from the Germans. The Germans had used tear gas at the Battle of Bolomov on January 3, 1915. Their use of poison gas for the first time on April 22, 1915 marked the beginning of the Second Battle of Ypres, which continued until May 25, 1915. They captured high ground east of the town. 
the first gas attack occurred against Canadian, British, and French soldiers, including both Metropolitan French soldiers as well as Senegalese and Algerian Tyrellers from French Africa. The gas used was chlorine. Mustard gas, also called Ypres from the name of this town, was also used for the first time near Ypres, in the autumn of 1917. Of the battles, the largest, best known, and most costly in human suffering was the Third Battle of Ypres, in which the British, Canadian, ANZAC, and French forces recaptured the past Gendale Ridge east of the city at a terrible cost of lives. After months of fighting, this battle resulted in nearly half a million casualties to all sides, and only a few miles of ground won by Allied forces. During the course of the war the town was all but obliterated by the artillery fire. English-speaking soldiers in that war often referred to Iapar Ypres by the deliberate mispronunciation Wipers. British soldiers even published a wartime newspaper called the Wipers Times. The same style of deliberate mispronunciation was applied to other Flemish place names in the Ypres area for the benefit of British troops, such as White Shape becoming White Sheet and Plug Start becoming Plug Street. Ypres was one of the sites that hosted an unofficial Christmas truce in 1914 between German and British soldiers. British veterans and civilians created in the 1920s a sacred memory of sacrifice in Belgium. The town of Ypres was made the symbol of all Britain was fighting for and was given a holy aura. The Ypres League transformed the horrors of trench warfare into a spiritual quest in which British and Imperial troops were purified by their sacrifice. After the war Ypres became a pilgrimage destination for Britons to imagine and share the sufferings of their men and gain a spiritual benefit. Due to more recent attention for the Ypres salient and World War I in general, more attempts are being made to preserve the World War I heritage in and around Ypres. Ypres today. After the war the town was rebuilt using money paid by Germany in reparations, with the main square, including the cloth hall and town hall being rebuilt as close to the original designs as possible. The Cloth Hall today is home to in Flanders Fields Museum, dedicated to Ypres's role in the First World War. Today, Ypres is a small city in the very western part of Belgium, the so-called Wasthuk. Ypres these days has the title of City of Peace, and maintains a close friendship with another town on which war had a profound impact, Hiroshima. Both towns witnessed warfare at its worst, Ypres was one of the first places where chemical warfare was employed, while Hiroshima suffered the debut of nuclear warfare. The city governments of Ypres and Hiroshima advocate that cities should never be targets again and campaign for the abolition of nuclear weapons. The city of Ypres hosts the International Campaign Secretariat of Mayors for Peace, an international mayoral organization mobilizing cities and citizens worldwide to abolish and eliminate nuclear weapons by the year 2020. Sites Town Center. The imposing Cloth Hall was built in the 13th century and was one of the largest commercial buildings of the Middle Ages. The structure which stands today is the exact copy of the original medieval building, rebuilt after the war. The belfry that surmounts the hall houses a 49 bell carillon. The whole complex was designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1999. The Gothic style St. Martin's Cathedral, originally built in 1221, was also completely reconstructed after the war, but now with a higher spire. It houses the tombs of Jansenius, Bishop of Ypres and father of the religious movement known as Jansenism, and of Robert of Perthune, nicknamed the Lion of Flanders, who was Count of Nevers and Count of Flanders. Menengate the Menin Gate Memorial to the Missing in Ypres commemorates those soldiers of the British Commonwealth a Euro with the exception of Newfoundland and New Zealand a Euro, who fell in the Ypres salient during the First World War before August 16, 1917, who have no known grave. Those who died from that date a Euro, and all from New Zealand and Newfoundland a Euro are commemorated elsewhere. The memorial now bears the names of more than 54,000 officers and men whose graves are not known. The memorial, designed by Sir Reginald Blomfield with sculpture by Sir William Reed Dick, was unveiled by Lord Plumer on July 24, 1927. It was built and is maintained by the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. It commemorates those of all Commonwealth nations who died in the salient, 
in the case of United Kingdom casualties before August 16, 1917. Those United Kingdom and New Zealand servicemen who died after that date are named on the memorial at Tyne Cot, a site which marks the furthest point reached by Commonwealth forces in Belgium until nearly the end of the war. Other New Zealand casualties are commemorated on memorials at Butte's New British Cemetery and Messins Ridge British Cemetery. The memorial's location is especially poignant as it lies on the eastward route from the town which Allied soldiers would have taken towards the fighting a year or many never to return. Every evening since 1928, at precisely 8 o'clock, traffic around the imposing arches of the Menin Gate Memorial has been stopped while the last post is sounded beneath the gate by the local fire brigade. This tribute is given in honor of the memory of British Empire soldiers who fought and died there. The Menin Gate tonight praise records only the soldiers for whom there is no known grave. As graves are identified, the names of those buried in them are removed from the Menin Gate. The ceremony was prohibited by occupying German forces during the Second World War, but it was resumed on the very evening of liberation a Euro September 6, 1944 a Euro notwithstanding the heavy fighting that still went on in other parts of the town. The lions that marked the original gate were given to Australia by the people of Belgium and can be found at the Australian War Memorial in Canberra. Who will remember, passing through this gate, the unheroic dead who fed the guns? Siegfried Sassoon, on passing the Menin Gate. War graves, both of the Allied side and the Central Powers, cover the landscape around Ypres. The largest number of dead are at Langemark German War Cemetery and Tynecott Commonwealth War Cemetery. The countryside around Ypres is featured in the famous poem by John McRae, and Flanders Fields. St George's Memorial Church commemorates the British and Commonwealth soldiers who died in the five battles fought for Ypres during World War I, events. The Cat Parade takes place every three years on the second Sunday of May. It involves the throwing of cats from the belfry and a colourful parade of cats and witches. The latest Cat Parade took place on May 13, 2012. Ypres is also the home of the Belgium Ypres was the rally since its creation in 1965. It is organized by the Auto Club Tug of Florio. Some of the drivers to have taken part are among the best known names in rallying, such as Juha Kang Kunen, Bruno Thierry, Henri Toivonen, Colin McRae, Jimmy McRae, Marc Duez, Frena Section Noir Duval, and Freddy Loix, among others. Ypres holds an annual canoe polo tournament in which teams come from all over Europe to play. On July 9, 2014, the 101st Tour de France started Stage 5 in Ypres. Trains, Iapa railway station run by NMBS has frequent trains to Courtridge. It can also be accessed from Brussels, linking to Eurostar, and takes about 75 minutes with two stops. Famous inhabitants, William of Ypres, a commander of Flemish mercenaries in England who was reckoned among the more able of the military commanders fighting for King Stephen of England in his 19-year civil war with the Empress Matilda. Jacob Clemens non papa, Renaissance composer, Cornelius Janssen, Bishop of Ypres and father of the Jansenism movement, Jules Meller, politician, Prime Minister of Belgium from 1871 to 1878 and in 1884, Alphonse van den Pirabuma, NL, Politician, Minister, Albert Nusensa, NL, Minister of Industry and Labor, Lawyer, University Professor, Julian Nissens Engineer, Builder of Zeebrug Harbor. Albert Deverze, Politician, Minister, Paul Sobier, NL, University Professor, Simona Norenberg, Nun, Social Worker, Co-Founder of Fane, Papua New Guinea, and Toon Verschut. Since 1954 Chief Bugler at the Menin Gate for the Daily Last Post Ceremony. Walter Fires, Molecular Biologist, Mark Bevan, Emeritus Dean Leuven University, Joe Lenout and Paul Houseby, Founders of the Speech Technology Company Lenout and Houseby, Henk Lowers, Classical Baritone Singer, Catherine Vefaili, MD and Stem Cell Pioneer, Nicholas Lenz, Author and Composer, Edouard Vermulen, Fashion Designer, Renaud Plandert, Politician, Belgian Minister, Eric Vermulen, Jazz Pianist, Yves Leetham, Politician, Former Prime Minister of Belgium, Isaac Delahaye, Lead Guitarist of God Dethroned and Epica, Twin Cities, A Japan, Hiroshima, 
a United Kingdom, Sittingbourne, Kent, a Germany, Sigen, West Fayum, a France, Saint Omer, Pas de Calais, Ghana, WAC, Upper West Region, Notes. External links, Association for World War Archaeology. Information about World War I excavations near Ypres, and Flanders Fields Museum, Last Post Association, Pilgrimage to Ypres and Sanctuary Wood, The Second Battle of Ypres in Oral Histories of the First World War, Veterans 1914 Euro 1918 at Library and Archives Canada, Mayors for Peace International Secretariat Ypres, webpage about the fortifications, coat of arms of Iepa, IEPA official website a Euro information available in Dutch and limited information available in English, IPRAISE travel guide, a comprehensive English language guide to IPRAISE. Includes history, sightseeing and Belgian big culture.